Hey, hello and greetings. It's been a while again, but for good reason. So patch 1.2.3, which is so fun to say, has hit the live server and it's huge. What's more, another one is being baked as we speak, but let's enjoy this one first. Uh, this is probably our first exclusively balance-based patch and there is a lot to go through, so here I am. Uh, first things first, let me assure you that this has not diverted work away from finalizing alpha. The final bugs are still being worked on. There have been some concerns which I understand, but let me assure you once again that nothing happens without reason. We prioritize and make the best of as much time as we can afford to steal. Now then, what exactly has this patch done? Well, apart from cricket bats now dropping, which is uh, self-explanatory, there's two major fronts. Number one, the rate of fire of many guns among all factions has been buffed, and number two, Summoners have received many, many buffs. The class now works, so my summoner brethren may rejoice. Now, patch notes will be available in the description below. I don't imagine you'd be interested in me uh, reading out all guns individually, so let me highlight the problems that we and you identified and how we intended to address them. So, rate of fire has been an issue for a while. Many otherwise interesting or unique guns had been throttled by their slow nature. And the Hunter Arsenal specifically didn't really offer many options. Both during leveling and in the endgame, Hunter options were rather limited and not terribly efficient. So the problems that stemmed from this were the following. Uh, the endgame performance of Marksmen. Uh, very few viable gun options for Engineers and their drones alike. Very few standalone Templar guns that were good leveling or crowd appropriate options without uh, Novas making them viable and very few summoner options for damage or other personal involvement in battle outside of dark form. So hopefully this batch of changes did alleviate some of those issues. On to my favorite part of this patch then, since I mentioned summoners. Uh, summoners received a slew of buffs. Naturally this abundance of buffs was intended to make the class viable, and so far it definitely seems to have worked. Of course that's not necessarily where the class will stay, since we do recognize the concern that elemental builds should have at least one uh, contender, and currently that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, which reminds me, and let me bring this up again, this is by no means a patch set in stone. Everything is always subject to change, and this was but one step towards where we wish to take the game. Of course it's understandable that such buffs may feel um, overpowered in places, but that's only until we get to nerfs. The uh, less enjoyable part of balancing out the TC mess. Uh, speaking of the future, yes, there will be more. Uh, there's quite a few areas we've touched little or not at all, including uh, builds, CCM, Novas, SFX, Taunts, and more. Of course, your feedback on all those areas is always invaluable, and it really does help us move forward. Uh, personally, I always like having my views challenged, so I'll be making a few videos specifically dedicated to some of those areas since I'd love to have some discussions on them. So, there you have it. I do hope you enjoy this patch as much as we did making it, and as always, thank you for watching.